Hi there, my name is uh, Jordan Van Winkle, and I'm going to do a little bit of an overview today for iMovie. Um, this is for uh, my Project 3 for Computers and Society, CSIS 108. And uh, iMovie, is, I actually used it to make my one pro It was the first time I actually used it when I made that project, too. And um, starting off with it, it's really, it's really easy to use right off the bat. I mean, it's very intuitive right off the bat was one thing I found. I mean, everything has a very simple layout. I mean, it's real logical. If you look over here, you have all of your projects that you're working on. So this is my first project, and that was my uh, project I did for my Japanese slideshow. And then uh, down here, you have all of your videos. And so if you have all your home videos or whatever uh, imported, those are all show up down here, and they show up in these screens right here that you can preview them in. And then over on this side is kind of it's a, it's really simple because everything's really laid out really intuitively. So over here is all of your music. So you just click the music right here, and it shows all of your music, and it implements with the uh, iTunes and so you can go up here and uh, it's all it is linked to all your basic folders in your iMovie sound effects your sound effects and then all of your iTunes stuff but the only thing that's bad about it that I don't like about it much is that um, if it's if you if you have stuff in a non-standard location that's not in your uh, iTunes library it's very hard to get to and so these uh, it links well with iTunes for your that and then over here if you just for photos so it shows all your photos for iPhotos but if you don't have, if you have photos that aren't in your iPhoto library, or your iTunes library, it's it's re they're really difficult to get to. So let's say you have a, a music a music file on your desktop that you want to play during your slideshow. Those are it's much more difficult to get to than if it would be in your iTunes. So that's one thing that's kind of a pain, pain for uh, that aspect of it. Then over here is all your titles, and these are just uh, like overlays to put on slides. And it's really that's why it's really simple because they're all just down here, and it's just a drag and drop. You just grab it. Put it over any slide you want to put it over, and then uh, just drop it over the slide, and it, it comes up. Then you just change the text right here. So it's very very simple to do, and uh, so that's why it was very simple. Like uh, getting off the bat, get right off the bat, it was really simple to start off with. Same thing with here. All your uh, if you click over here, all your uh, transitions for your slides. And you can just put your cursor over, and it'll preview what it'll look like. And then uh, you, you same thing. You just drag and drop those over here. I already have these other ones in, so I'll leave those. But you just drag and drop those. You put it in, and that's simple. And so starting off is very simple. But once you get into the more, uh, when you start editing it, uh, the finer things, that's when I got really frustrated with iMovie. And so one thing that biggest frustration I have is this: uh, the timeline it has right here is just big old box, and it's all in like icon, like like a thumbnail type format, which I really don't like. I like more of a linear bar style. With maybe your video on top, and then all your different audio, audio files and different uh, underneath it. This one, if you look up, it's all of your videos. And if you see at the very top, it has this audio file, uh, the song that I use, and that's that encompasses the whole thing. And so, if you had multiple files, um, multiple layers, it'd be very difficult to control. And also, one thing I'm trying to do is split it. So this is the second half of this, this. It's the same song, but it's in two times. This is the second half of the song, and this is the first half of the song. And I want it to fade out at the last half. And uh, But I want it to continue in beat right here, and just continue in beat playing it. So then you can't tell, and then it just transitions to the last end of the song, so it ends with the slideshow. But And so that's one thing I did easily in other programs. It's very easy to do, but in, in iMovie, it was very difficult to do. So if you listen to it from right here... You can hear that it's not quite right. And as much as I tried to fix it, there was nothing I could do to get it right. In other programs, you can zoom in and then you can make very specific uh, slices. Splice, you can splice uh, your audio very specifically and to get that to line up very perfect so you wouldn't even know it. It'd be the same beat and then it'd just go off and end with the song. But in iMovie, I couldn't, I mean, it was very difficult and I couldn't, as much as I worked on it, I couldn't even get it to be right. And so I think it's good if you just want to make basic basic uh, movies but if you're getting into stuff where you have lots of lots of different layers of audio let's say you want to you don't want to uh, start off with some audio from a video and then go from an audio to your to your background music and then you want to fade out of your background music and go into your video file audio and then vice versa in and out I think it'd be very difficult to do if you had that and it'd be it very it'd get very cluttered in this type of view and so uh, that's my take on iMovie. I mean, good program if you want to just start off and make simple stuff, but if you want to get into more difficult stuff and with the minute slices and stuff, I think you're going to find yourself very frustrated like I was. But anyway, that's uh, that's my take on uh, iMovie 08, and I'm Jordan Van Winkle. Thank you.